Okay, let's start with the skinning. So just gonna hide here my guide. We don't need it for the moment. And I'm just gonna um, also hide all these uh, separated objects and gonna start using the body setup. That is the one that has everything unified and uh, will be easier to make a first check on, on the skinning. So to make these things as quick as possible, I'm just gonna go to my bind skin settings. I'm just gonna reset. I'm going to show you the default configuration I start. So in this case, what I'm going to do is um, here on the join hierarchy, it's good. The closest distance, I want to make a heat map. So to make a quick check of how everything is look and if I need to update something or adjust maybe some positions or whatever. So I'm just going to do it there. Um, later, well, classic linear, interactive, uh, neighbors, allow multiple bind poses. That's OK. Max. I don't want to keep the max influences, remove and use influences also I don't want and a uh, color is skeleton, I don't want the colors. Okay, so now that I have my settings properly, I'm just gonna create a quick, quick, quick skin with a heat map. So I'm just gonna apply, it's gonna take just a few seconds. Okay, so we have our first uh, skin ready. So the heat map if you have this situation where you have this unified um, body setup and you have a very simple like this character is gonna give you a fairly good results in general with the default configuration but you need to do a few tricks first one is uh, you see here on the hand it looks nice also the palm everything it's looking good but here on the tips of the fingers, oops, I'm just gonna show you one. You see, it's not doing the nice work, and the reason because it's not doing the nice work is because here on the um, joints, if I show my joints, I'm just gonna hide also the geometry. So you see, just put one join here that is the last articulation but we don't put one to define the length of the last uh, part of the finger so the heat map it doesn't know how to skin this properly and create this kind of like mushy deformation like this that looks fairly weird that's one thing on the tips so heat map it doesn't do a nice work there and now the other thing is like we need to check that our positions are good. So sometimes we think, okay, this is gonna be good, but then realize that maybe it's not that good. For instance, here on the neck, because we have a very long, um, very long uh, jaw. I was saying like, I'm gonna put a little low this, but still I have the feeling maybe a little lower is gonna be better. So I'm gonna change that. The hips are good, I think. Shoulders there, looks nice. So the position for the oops for the arm, the white of the shoulders. So it's very important to check these. Don't in this character is very simple and it's T pose is standard, but maybe this is a bit outside. So maybe just gonna move everything a little inside so it gets uh, maybe the wider of the shoulders is a bit smaller and now for the foot I'm just gonna check this and here it becomes very clear very apparent that the the ankle is too high it's too high and it doesn't look nice the deformation you can see if I put this in shade mode you see it's, it's very ugly I mean the skinning is not perfect, but also the position is it's pretty bad. Okay, so no problem. This is why we do test, and it's important the iteration. It's always important. I never like do one single iteration and keep it as is for the rest. So I'm just gonna delete the rig. Now we we know the drill. Just let's adjust the guide. So I'm just gonna delete half part and adjust the guide to get a better position. So in this case, I'm just gonna take these two 
and I'm just gonna use the uh, prevent children uh, preserve children sorry and yeah maybe world just gonna move it a little bit inside oops just gonna just remove this and remove wall and just to be sure always always just make a a quick build from selection so you ensure that you don't mess with all the orientations so in this case still good and also I'm just gonna okay everything is still good now the position is a bit inside so I think it's gonna have a better or more appealing shape okay delete the rig again now for the neck okay so it's gonna take this one and this one and again I'm just gonna use my preserved child and it's gonna lower it a little bit so you can see here I'm just gonna take this one also should be three yeah around there okay not too much just a little bit and now for the um, for the uncle just center the view there just gonna take this apart so here I'm just gonna move it on the wall space I'm just gonna low it around here and now this one right there so I'm just gonna ensure this is flat there Okay, let's check in with my shoes. It's a little off now in the positions. I'm just gonna adjust it again. Oops. Be careful with the uh, preserved children. Just a little bit. This is completely normal. This is how it works on a daily basis. It's you need to iterate a little bit your positions before um commit to one okay so now i'm just gonna make um quick build here so i i check again that everything is uh, on the right position the arm the legs and that i didn't mess anything Uh, looks my foot it's now much better I think this is good it still look flat because I low my position here my my control is underground that's that's okay we will fix it later okay so that's good so I'm just gonna duplicate symmetry again my parts that are only on the left side this one and this one okay so we have the the guide again ready to to prepare for the skinning so I'm just gonna build again and yeah we are ready now just safe and let's continue in the next video with the skinning